Hi guys, so let me show you a feature that will come really in handy that will help and please your customers. Today, you will see that with the help of Process Builder and Custom Notification, we will be able to create a custom notification rather than relying too much on tasks or calendar events for your daily notifications. System administrators will be able to configure a point and click configuration that will send custom notification to the appropriate user. So let's do it. Let's go to setup. So from the quick find, just type in notifications, click on custom notifications, now click a new button. So in here, you just need to type in the custom notification name. So I'm going to put in notify account owner. So you need also to specify the support channel. So I'm going to select desktop and mobile, then hit save. Now, since the notification has been created, um, the next step would be um, creating the process. So our goal here is we want to send notification to the um, case account owner if the case status is closed. So let's go to Process Builder. Click on Process Builder. Click a new button and then type in the process name. So I'm going to put in notification. Account. Owner. Process. So the process starts when a record changes, then click save. So now we need to, to um, select the um, object. So I'm going to select case object. So when a record is created or edited, then click save. So now we need to um, add the criteria. Modify account owner. When case is closed. So we're going to select this status. So the status should be, should be equal to um, closed. Now click on save. So now um, we need to add the um, uh, immediate actions. So from the action type, we can um, select send custom notification and for the action name we will be um, putting notify account owner so from the notification type you will be able to um, select the um, notification or custom notification that we just created so i'm going to select notify account owner so for this um, um, notification recipient, um, you can either select the user, owner, group, queue. So I'm going to select the um, owner. And then I'm going to put in the account ID and the owner ID. And then click on choose button. So in here, you can enter the um, title by using the merge fields. Um, so let's put here, case has been closed. And then you can also enter the case number using the uh, merge field. Just type in number, choose. And for the um, notification body, um, you can just copy the um, title or you can also put some comments or notes like um, please review this case. Okay, so once you're done, just hit save. And of course, don't forget to um, activate this process. Click activate. And click on confirm. 
So now, um, since the um, process has already already been created, um, let's check um, and test this out. So let's go to um, case record. So this is a sample record that I just created. Um, so in order to, for us to test this, we need to uh, update the status to close. But before that, let's try to check this account first. And let's see who is the owner of this account. So the owner of this account is me. So I should be getting a custom notification once we update the case status to close. So let's go back. All right, so I'm gonna update the status to close and then it's safe. All right, so right next to the cog wheel icon, there is a notification bell. So let's check this out. All right, so it worked. So that is how we set up send notification custom notification in Salesforce Lightning. Thank you so much for watching.